We doggy! Welcome to Hope County, Montana. <laughs> this is Tree Branch Baron von Lumberjack. No, I'm kidding. It's Jean here. How's it, everybody? <laughs> oh, darn. I, I was kind of liking uh, Tree Jack von Lumberwit. <laughs> Wait, I can't even remember how it went. That was a good one, though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd catch everybody off guard there that with that good. one. <laughs> Any case, so thank you very much for joining us in this uh, this live stream with the commentary of yesterday's recorded video from the Far Cry 5 press preview event um, that took place at, uh, at Metal State yesterday. Um, don't know if you uh, if you managed to catch any of the of the action. In the background there, you can hear. Uh, if I just. That's the father busy with a... Okay, so a that's a cult outpost. So you guys can see mm -hmm. it. Once it's liberated, you get access to new missions and new kinds of shops and all kind of stuff and blah, blah, blah. So now you've got to get in there and, and take over and just liberate this place. But yeah, you can hear the father busy giving a sermon there to all his guards over a radio station, a private radio station, or pirate radio station at least. Um, and the father was at the event yesterday as well. Indeed, he made a quite a quite an impact on the, on the event. He even gave a welcome speech, but unfortunately the TV didn't agree with him. It would seem. Yeah, and no, I think that that TV just wanted to uh, be the resistance recruitment. Oh, how's that silent takedown there, Mikey? That that snap in the neck was. Uh, Oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, okay, so just I to let just... everybody know what's happening is here. This is Mikey's gameplay from yesterday. Because um, I couldn't make it to the event yesterday. And like we were just saying, you know, the father was there. Um, I wasn't there. Uh, Mikey was there at least, so he could he could capture this. It was quite a lot of fun. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I was there as the father. <laughs> and, uh, and I also got to play... Um, but Mikey's gameplay is just way better than mine. Like, <laughs> I, 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 no matter how many times I tried, I couldn't sneak into this base the way that he has and disabled the freaking alarm. That I like, yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't do this no matter how hard I tried. Yeah, the same thing. It was actually, and I actually hadn't planned on disarming the alarm. I just saw it and I was like, oh wait, I probably need to do this. <laughs> and I, I remember reading... Oh, one shot, one kill! I was quite happy with that. <laughs> there is a little bit of aim assist, which obviously you can switch on or off. But uh, that, that was all that was me at least. <laughs> I, can't take, I can't say that was the aim assist. A few other, other occasions you'll find or see that the, the gun just zooms in on the center of the guy's chest. It doesn't really help with the headshots. This was quite a fun mission, to be honest. And I'm just trying to see, because this guy was on this balcony type thing here. And when I come here, he seemed to have disappeared. I thought he might have ziplined that side. Right? Now, be honest, were you side. aiming for the ladder, or did you... Did you... <laughs> That was just, this is just terrible, this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, so I've literally just exposed your, um, your nerves there that got your, your guidance system off. Yeah, <laughs> I did indeed. But this guy had some armor on, so, I mean, I, I hit him a few times. Yeah, like, I don't know how many times you've literally just shot him. It's freaking crazy. Like, like, look at that. I mean, yeah, that's at like least, now I'm counting about 12 shots. Okay, that missed. Yeah, that was a big <laughs> bad miss. 14, 16, 18, 20, 20. Eventually. Jeez, um, so <laughs> counting, the, there's like 26 bullets <laughs> that that guy's armor was able to take. Yeah. So, so this is a little cinematic that obviously happens after you've liberated an outpost. It pretty much just shows you how the community comes in, uh, frees everybody, there's a VIP. Um, <clears throat> and um, and then it turns into like pretty much a base. See, Mikey got a, a, a four hundred uh, four hundred dollar four hundred dollar four hundred dollar <laughs> just for not sounding the alarm because he disabled it. You got real hard, kid. I can't believe those fuckers were keeping folks prisoners there. 
Yeah, okay, so obviously the language is is absolutely insane. Yeah. They, it they, they, it's like, uh, it's like there's n nothing's taboo. Nothing's <laughs> taboo in this game. I think it's and more, <laughs> it gives you more, like, realism. I'm so glad to see that I wasn't the only one that was standing here and contemplating whether <laughs> to run around with a bow or with a gun. I can't remember how many times I switched between the gun and the bow. Like, for a while, and then eventually I settled on keeping the bow because it's All right, so okay. much fun to Just sneak Hold around. that thought. Okay, so here you've got shops and stuff where uh, obviously I've had to edit here because we're not allowed to show you some of the elements that are inside the stores, as well as this section here where this dude that Mikey's shedding to he becomes a, he's a gun for hire. Everybody with those little things above their heads become uh, companions that run with you um, and help you fight. So now inside the store there are things that you we would be able to show you like you go and get your uh, med kits and your armor etc. But uh, there's also some elements in there for you know okay actually yeah NDA says I'm not allowed to tell you that. So I'm going to shh there's other factors there that we weren't able to show you so I had to edit that out. But pretty much, so you got different stores at the different outposts. So pretty much Jess, who we've just rescued here, she's uh, asked us to go and help her chase down a baddie who is one of um, Joseph Seed's lackeys, and he's his name's the Cook. Eh? They call him the Cook. Yeah, the Cook. He is. He's quite fanatical in his ways okay Passionate i think we get to see that all right so that dude that was there with the blue shirt and the cap that's one of my keys guns fire that's his calling card innocent people burned alive and they was like wait where and then yeah the you you saw it i didn't when she said it to me i was like hey i looked up in the trees i thought you strung <laughs> people up oh man that actually wouldn't have surprised me no, but she says that later in her story that she tells. Oh, yeah, it's true. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an arm. Yeah, this, this story that she tells is super dark. Like, oh my word. So if we do go quiet, it's literally just that you guys can hear what she's saying because the story is pretty creepy. But yeah, she's done talking now. <laughs> And um, my other gun for hire is just busy mumbling to himself there. Oh wait, yeah, it's because there were enemies here. Now something I noticed that you didn't do is... Um, <coughs> if you used your binoculars, you could highlight all the enemies. Oh my word, I actually did, didn't know that. So if you pop in, into your... and, and you, you activate your binoculars, you don't even have to zoom in. It literally highlights all the enemies in the area and you get to see their red outlines. So I did that with all my outposts and with all the like the, the, the little sectors that we're about to get to now to mark everybody. It just helped me know where everybody was going to be at each certain point, which is something I think would have helped you get through that a lot quicker. Definitely. So there's, there's a little tidbit for when you guys do get the game is uh, if you really want to, 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 to scope out the area very nicely, look by highlighting it through your crosshairs, it does it does catch them, but it only catches the guys in your crossing. Is where if you activate your um, binoculars and you just flail over an outpost, it will highlight everybody. <laughs> what, this psycho! <laughs> this guy was a total idiot. He just ran into the fire. I don't know what he was thinking was going to happen. Save my ass. Yeah, you'll save those uh, off from burning. <laughs> He just wanted to go meet the cook quicker than you guys were. <laughs> In a completely different manner. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to cook himself. <laughs> uh, no. Get it over and done it before actually meeting him. I think he was a little too nervous. But yeah, that's actually a, that's a really good tip. Like a pro tip you can have that as a, a future reference. Like just as an example here now, what we do is we don't we don't go into this. Um, I, I skip through uh, the gameplay on on this one, um, and just to where where Mikey liberates the hostages. <coughs> uh, 
Um, just for time sake, so that we can get through as much game for you guys to see as possible. So, uh, here we go, Mikey's just, uh, just freed all three of the, the hostages. And then, what's going on here, Mikey? Okay, so here, what was happening is, for as a reward for rescuing the hostages and completing the objective, I was rewarded perk points. And these points, uh, they give you extra little benefits while you play. So like there, you're able to hold your breath for longer when you swim. And I think it also said something about swimming faster. I think I missed that bit now. But these, and later on, I, I actually, later on in playing, I found some more really useful perks. Perks that, you know, better better aiming and um, being able to hold more ammo and that kind of stuff it's it's very useful so it's handy to do as many side quests as well because that will allow you to unlock a lot more of the perks get more points I'm just keeping quiet so we can hear what she's saying oh no I think we missed that section there but pretty much what you were saying, there was some, some, uh, the cook had a whole bunch of guys, like, locked up, and the kids were thirsty, and he forced them to drink their wee, and then they vomited it up, and he didn't like that, so he then went and strung the parents up outside. Oof. So that's yeah. part one. <laughs> so here, now, I've, I've left this in, in the section, so here, if you used your binoculars, you'd be able to highlight all the baddies in one shot. <laughs> oh, no. What did you just do there? <laughs> I, I actually I couldn't resist because the guys were walking past a little canister and I just knew something was I was I was gonna kill them if I shot the, the canister and blew them up, but I did not expect them to fly like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool zip line with a gun, so that means you can pretty much Rambo in here, yeah, like a, like a superhero. <laughs> Have you? No, yeah, I think you just cleared out everybody there. Yeah, you did. You cleared out everybody. Plus. All the managed to get all oh. the hostages with that. There is one left though. Uh, this oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So, oh, that's cool. So, six out of six. Nice one, Mikey. Hey, <coughs> that was a, it was a close call because the one guy was actually standing over the hostage. I saw that. I saw that. It was the last guy that you shot. He was like, he had the gun pointed straight at him. Yeah. I, I was actually gonna, worried. She, yeah, here comes story time. Yeah, the parents on posts decided to give the kids a little water. Many asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. The cook asked if they want pork. The kids said yes. So he went out to the parents and took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. The blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. She doesn't say that we're the eight. Sweet. <laughs> I'd made a I'd make a bad caller. Apparently I'm still going through puberty. <laughs> Couldn't even get that out. <laughs> uh, I think the, the pork agreed with you. I don't think it would agree with anybody. Oh man. And set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. When they finally stopped screaming, I looked around. He was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. So basically, Jess was one of those kids, so her parents got That's burned by the cook. cook. Pretty creepy. That just shows you the kind of company um, the father keeps. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, well, well. White tails are fighting hard, but it may not be enough. Uh, 
actually, it didn't register with me that she mentioned the white tails here already. Yeah, well, it's the beginning of the game, essentially, because when you, you're not really listening to everything, you're so focused on what's going on. Yeah. And in the sound effects, you're hearing people screaming in the background, <laughs> eh? I was actually focusing more on the screaming. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The weak are impure and unworthy! Cool, so he just referred to them as Peggy's. So he cooks them with the flame! And that pretty much stands for Project at Eden's burn, Gate. Burn so they the call them Peggy's the pretty much because it's just the quick way of saying it's, it's the baddies. Oh, what a pro entrance! <laughs> Aluminium bat to the head. Nice. I wish I had my shovel there though. Thank you so much for And an add another <laughs> one. <laughs> Another one takes the bat to the head. Nice. Oof, that is heavy. Yeah, flamethrower even. I was contemplating shooting him, but then I was like, okay, there's still a few guys around. Yeah, wise move. Jeez, like, you're actually doing quite pro here at your, um, at your stealth takedowns. Holy moly! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to explode on the first No, but that shot. would make sense. I mean, you shot him in the, his canisters there. You checked they were on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that cops were annoying. I only later learned or saw that they were machine guns. Oh, you <laughs> took out the pilot! Bajumba! <laughs> nice one! Uh, well done, Mikey. You know, that's cool. Ooh! Yeah, like, really? Yeah, so... <laughs> Can't say that you completely did that one flawlessly, but you did that one like a way better than I did. <laughs> way better. Nice uh, one. You just took them all out. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cook's dead, and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy, and now I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's just been right about a lot of shit lately. The cult. Eli. Maybe he's right about you too. You, uh, you need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh, thanks for everything you've done. That made me feel good. Now that's cool. So, a dish served cold. Would, uh, would, would, would be the first story mission that you've completed. Now there it explains the specialists that are guns for hire and they've come with special perks and abilities and stuff like that and you assign them. So they're more like heroes than the normal guy that was running into the, f in the so fire and it almost looked like he was on fire again <laughs> there. <laughs> cool, so what you did here is now you obviously uh, zip down the hill and uh, you, you shot some wolves and some baddies there, their corpses. And this is your first uh, attempt at a uh, at a vehicle, Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually quite happy with the... Uh, <laughs> on the way. But I was quite happy with getting the, getting the quad bike. And I'm trying to see where I'm going to be going next here. Okay, so you're setting your waypoint for your for for the next mission. Um, I think this is also kind of yeah. yeah this is a, a story. Yeah. Those yeah. icons are they mark story related missions. Okay, cool. And there we go. There's there's your your, your route guider for uh, for the new vehicles. So what I did is I, I skipped through here because you guys tend, you guys go to the lumber mill there and then you changed into a different vehicle. So now you're in a in a in a van. Yeah. You've arrived. Oh you nearly shot her. Yeah, shot her. <laughs> I was like, wait, are you the Betty? And then I saw the icon like that. Can't be right. Okay, what are these? These I'm not actually can't remember what they are, but they are some really strange genetic. I mean, they, they took a couple of bullets and they still didn't go down. Uh, I, I thought you just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> what? You were still alive? Like, like, come, come, come here, doggy. Come here. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm just trying to assist that dog. <laughs> That's disgusting. Come here. 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 Come here.
wait, 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 is that, is that, is that, yes, there it is, that's the, oh, <laughs> Bison's running off and I'm just thinking, what the hell is going on here? Uh, <laughs> so so you, the, the project was trying to take home some, some meat. <laughs> Ooh, vinyl crate collectibles, nice. Yeah, that's when I realized that, um, there are some other collectibles you can get in the game. How the hell are these things so now strong? Now did you figure out, did you have enough time to actually check what what the collectibles are through? Did you go through your loot and stuff like that to check it out? No, nah, I didn't go through all the, the different stuff. Ah, okay, no, that's cool. So there's still, 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 still stuff to be continued and confirmed. Indeed. Nice. Okay, so... <coughs> now why didn't you chat to the chick? Why, why are you going down to the bottom? Uh, she didn't want to chat, I mean, I, I pressed the square on her, and then she just gave me that little comment, and then I realized there was some red markers on my HUD. Ah, there, so if you're in conflict, it prevents you from interacting? Yeah. Ah. It can be a bit annoying, but okay, in cases like this where the enemies were a couple of hundred yards away. But it does affect it. Yeah. What the yeah, hell? <laughs> These uh, Whoa! Hey. <laughs> How's that explosion? Uh, you yeah, keep having to save this poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, it's, it's, it's like he thinks he's part of the the freaking <laughs> Fantastic Four. <laughs> Flame on! <laughs> uh, nice. Wait, what was his name? It would be funny if his name is actually John. Hmm, let's check next time he's in the screen. Yeah, he's in the screen, I'll actually pay more attention. <laughs> John who? John Cena! Ba -ba -ra -ba. This forest we is a death him. trap. Shit, I didn't think I was gonna make it. Thanks for that. I'm Sarah, by the way, Sarah Perkins. Was heading up a wildlife conservation team studying the wolves in the park, and then, well, we found Where's this. Where's he going? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I, I do this shit, I'm out of here. Like anything I've seen before. The cult calls them judges. Oh, they judges. Tougher than the other species around here. The cult tried to force my Ah, uh, he just went for a pee. He said no. <laughs> they sick those things on us. He saw a spider. Eli and the white tails got me out. Been trying to pay them back ever since. I've got a theory on how to use the cult's formula to help us track these creatures. But all I'm working with is corpses. I need a live judge. I know it's a big ask, but I'm desperate. The cult's training him at an old youth camp called the Breakthrough. Do this for me, and I might be able to put something together that'll help you hunt these things. I'll meet you at the camp once it's... Hang on a sec. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, if you walk away too far, then they stop talking. Okay, oh, so it interrupts. Do this for me, okay. So you literally have to, like, complete the, the dialogue yeah. to retrieve your, your mission. Okay, alright, okay. One thing I was impressed about though was I mean, it didn't start from scratch. It started it, like it went back to. I love. I, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I love her comment. This is. This thing's. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> so oh, it was awesome. it's just like <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> Who was in there last? <laughs> Promise it wasn't me! Wait, but that, that was the vehicle we arrived in, so... Wait, and I was driving. You were driving?! <laughs> Sis, you freak! Oh, darn it. Oh, oh well. <laughs> and that's all she's got to say after that. <laughs> uh, okay, so traveling to Waypoint, so now she's driving and you're in passenger seat, right? Yeah. Okay, so you just said Waypoint and then they'll go where they need to. No wonder the driving was so bad. <laughs> it was actually. Uh, but then again, there were some moments where I drove horribly as well. Ooh. Here we go. I was just like, okay, well, let me take care of you guys. I was surprised I actually didn't hit the guy. Like, I'm very confused. Who shot this guy? Because, <laughs> like, or, or did he just faint? Because, like, literally nobody. Shot him, <laughs> I was just, I and was, he yeah. just like bailed out and died. He didn't fall that far. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. That, that was hilarious. I just had to include that because uh, that was so brilliant. That it was, was like, good. like, oh, mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it's not this again. <laughs> Maybe if I find this now. Check. Here's some people running after another animal. What is wrong with these freaking cultists? Look out! Are those cultists or are those civilians? Who knows? They may be just so damn hungry. Uh, Any case, I was so, to them. yeah. <laughs> Any case, so here you're now at the uh, second story mission part of this uh, part of this arc that you've decided to go on, mm -hmm. and you've uh, you've arrived at uh, at the youth center. Oh yes, this is where they do quite a bit of uh, I think it was experiments or where they they do their stuff with the the wolves, turn them into fetters. That was quite a... Was effort. he talking to you? Was he like, calm down? <laughs> or what? Okay, <laughs> like so there's your weapon wheel. Just explain to people what you can do in that we weapon wheel. It, well, from what I could actually see, is you're able to... Well, aside from getting having a, a multiple types of guns, uh, you're able to have multiple types of melee weapons. Uh, I had two different types of bats there. And it, later on, I replaced the wooden bit with a shovel. The shovel was just my favorite. <laughs> There's just something about knocking a guy over a head with a shovel that's <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> thunk! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> that kind of thunk. That kind of thunk. <laughs> but I did notice that I wasn't able to swap out the shotgun that you get. So it's like you're only able to swap out your main weapon and your. Oof. I hate it when that happens. Hey, take it <laughs> in that nut. <laughs> Left nut, right nut, go down. <laughs> he was eventually just. He gave up. Ooh. Ah, this was actually quite an interesting thing. When you kill cult VIPs, you get extra resistance points as well. What the big drop, Mikey? That was the Oh, sniper! <laughs> Put it to the knee and put it to everywhere else. I found this quite funny. Oh, blowing up them vehicles. But it didn't affect the guys at all. He still comes around the box here and it's like, hey, I uh, that nice grenade you threw. Alright, but it doesn't look like it blew up though. Yo, 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 playing it close, yeah. Yeah, it was. So, what's that green shit around him? <laughs> I'm also trying to figure out what, what was going on here. Like, it, he just hadn't showered in like a week or something. <laughs> Here comes another one. It's full of them. Damn. Woo. No, they're the VIPs. Yeah, they're the VIPs. No, but you can't tell me that a dude with, with that hasn't showered for like 15 days becomes a VIP. Give me a second. Oh, man. Kind of goes against that, that saying that someone made up. Called cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh lol. Some more vinyls. <laughs> Alright, so I can actually tell you what that green stuff is. Just okay. just just an FYI. Oh wait, I think I know now. It's the bliss. It's the bliss. Yeah. <laughs> now for those of you wondering what the f is the bliss, that's pretty much the chemical that they are using. Um, to uh, to influence Good. people and get them on a high. Not seeing any judges Their own here. version of shoes. Mm. And that, my I've dear friends, you would have seen should you control. have watched the um, what is the movie that they just released? Right. Let me let me confirm. I, I've yeah, watched it like twenty thousand times, but now now I've drawn a blank. At the moment when you yeah. Okay, so you've just rung the dinner bell there. Oh yeah. Heads up, I see one. Because you were supposed to catch alive one of these monkeys, eh? Yeah, that's right. One of the the pre-judged or judge-made wolves. I found twice. Hectic. Alright, alright, I'm coming down for a closer look. Tray. I wasn't sure you were going to pull it off. Like, beautiful. Alright, so just like I was saying, it's the live action movie that um, Ubisoft dropped Far Cry 5 inside Eden's Gate. Uh, inside Eden. Uh, yeah. yeah, inside Eden's Gate. So inside there, you'd, uh, if you watched that, you'd, you would have been exposed to... 
the bliss already, so that is not a spoiler. <coughs> Don't come with your hate. Yeah. Okay, again, there you yeah, couldn't talk to her because she's in conflict. Yeah, I, I was really confused here until I realized that some guys had just arrived in a vehicle. Oh, did they get in a vehicle? I yeah. wondered where or what or how because like the area was clear. Yeah, you can see, yeah, I'm like really confused. Like, what the heck's going on here? Take some dynamite. 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 <laughs> uh, I, I was surprised when I threw the dynamite. I was like, wait, where did I pick that up? <laughs> <laughs> that was in bed. Oh, weird. So there's the crafting, which is the other thing you do in your wheel, your selection wheel. Yeah. So that now you I can, you can uh, now go and craft some Molotovs, some dynamite, some a whole bunch of throwables. Because as you're seeing, you're picking up things. Um, there's alcohol. There's uh, oh my word, uh, fasteners, etc. There's screws, here, nuts, bolts, and all of these things you use in crafting your throwable weapons and your explosives. And that you do through that run. wheel. <clears throat> and the wheel, the when you're pressing L1, it pops up. If you then press R1, it takes you through to the homeopathic section, which is now all your meds. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Yeah, so, so your medication would be um, anti-poison. See, there's the homeopathics, because you literally just received um, an antidote oh, from yes. her. Oh, there's the, the father talking about us. So that that was uh, I didn't it didn't really register it with me at that moment what was going to be happening. <laughs> I think we're gonna get out of the match. Yeah. Now I wish you actually had made it to the Fang Center I know, right? because that's where you would have been able to get cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, when I realized later on. <laughs> I was so um, something with myself that I just didn't get to go in there. Because cheeseburger, guys, cheeseburger is one of the fangs for hire. Fangs for hire are the animals as opposed to human companions um, that, that uh, help you in battle and, and etc. And cheeseburger is a diabetic bear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seriously, he's a diabetic bear. That is so sad. So, <laughs> he's a diabetic bear named Cheeseburger with a huge. Uh, plate of chips on his shoulders. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> chip on my shoulder. Well done. Bad puns are punny. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take you guys down, and then if you had no control, this happened. <laughs> <laughs> you all know what we're thinking, right? <laughs> we're not gonna say it, but you know what we're thinking. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. So unfortunately. That leads to a hectic story spoiler, so we were unable to include what happened there. You'd have to play to uh, see what's going on. And in this section, Mikey, um, like obviously this is part of the confusion in in in, in, in what you, in 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 the, in the cutscene in the storyline there. Um, and now you you're racing against time, from what we can see there at the top, because you up at the clock. Wow. I can't English. The croc is drinking. The croc is drinking 12 or a time or a time. <laughs> okay, so now each kill that you're busy getting at least is adding time to your, your thing there. And you just keep hearing um, it's uh, Jacob saying, <coughs> you know, you're busy culling the herd. Now you can see the world is weak. So without giving away too much um, because, you know, NDA reasons. Um, it can kind of give you an idea of what this is all about or why. You can hear Jacob in the background busy trying to get you brainwashed, you know? Yeah. Well done. Oof. And obviously giving you praise whenever you, you do something right. Yeah, actually wrong, but yeah. <laughs> Now, I really like the weapons that you that you uh, that you got to use in this section. 
I decided to go with all of them. I quite like the rifle, but I wanted to see how each one would fit into the mm, scenarios here. Yeah. I nearly yeah. didn't make it out here. <laughs> no, you, you cut it very, very, very close. Like, seriously, because as you can guys can see there, it's kill the final target before time runs out. And yeah, you got to about 10 seconds there. And uh, and yeah, you you made it through on your first time. Yeah. So good job. In any case, so so after that, a lot happens again. Can't give you the details, um, but you then uh, find yourself um, <coughs> back at, uh, at at the wolf's den, which is um, which is something that, uh, or at least the, the the home base in the beginning of the game. Um, and uh, and you see it's it's it's, it's more populated this time. So it just shows you the the influence that you've had on the world already has has led to uh, strengthening the resistance, which is why this guy is talking about he's been looking for you. This is this is no this isn't your life. This is. I don't know if we'll be able to hold out more than a week in this. We'll find out shortly. Times are desperate to say the least. I'm trying to get some footholds back, so I sent a handful of whitetails out to sabotage so the there again, whitetails. Mm. The cult's been using it as a depot for that bliss shit. And there we go, bliss! So we didn't right into use spoilers trap. because <laughs> they talk about it. hostage and True we're up against the clock. If I just send another group in there, we risk losing everything. But you, you're something that cult ain't expecting. Did you just you're try and the only one I got around. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. I think I, I was fiddling around with controls, trying to see what else I could do. You'll need to go in I realized when I pushed circle, I was like, wait, no, that's the wrong control. Kill our people. There's a bow on the table if you need it. Get our people back. Every now and then, I good luck. Must tap a button and just like, what am I doing? I, I, I must be honest with you. I preferred the bow. I hardly ever used a um, LMG or a, a you know <clears throat> automatic rifle or anything like that. I just I stuck to bow. It was just for me it was faster um, because I liked doing the whole st stealth takedown thing from a distance. Mm. Uh, I didn't like getting into close combat because um, close combat was something that always ended up being. Oh, it is Eli. His name is Eli. Uh, okay. Oh, hi, Jess. What's up, Jill? Um, you know, it just uh, you, you get overwhelmed really quickly if you do if you get into close combat situations. You might have come across a little harsher. I ain't apologizing. I'm just acknowledging. I don't trust people I don't know. Lol. <laughs> so, so they're aware of what you're doing when you're talking to them. Seems so. Might have come across a little harsher. I ain't apologizing. I'm just acknowledging. <laughs> Debagging now. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> so I gotta go with that until I see otherwise. You prove your worth, and you and I will get along just fine. Here's the deal. Weedy's trying to get a pirate radio station up and running. He told Eli it's to help coordinate the militia, but I'm pretty sure he just wants to play his own music. So we're gonna indulge him. Problem is, he can't get a signal out. Our friend here said the cult's been jamming this whole area. Also told us how. Seems there's two radio towers with jammers on them and a third on a mobile unit patrolling the roads. Take the towers out first. That ought to clear the signal enough for me to locate the patrol. I'll let you know when I find it. Do this, and maybe we can start building some of that trust up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just see to what extent they're aware of what you're doing. I, mean, I got no reaction after that, it was like, oh. <laughs> I was feeling around a little bit. That's how you do, you know, bug testing and whatever. You literally do fool around, you know. You, yeah. you try and see if it's going to pick up on on interactions. I quite enjoyed fooling around though, every now and then, because <laughs> I fooled around a little bit too. <laughs> Hi. Aaron the back. If you don't help me, I'm fucking ghost. I like the fact that when you had your um your bow and you shoot somebody, you just run over where you had shot them and you you, you pick up your bow or at least your arrows again. So you you always what the what? <laughs> For obvious reasons, he doesn't like to swim. Yeah. 
end it. <laughs> Meantime, everybody around him is like, this and that and this and that and this. It was funny, I didn't realize I switched my bow until I got to this place. I was like, wait, this isn't right. <laughs> I ran back and like, where did I put my bow? Oh yeah, this was the side mission to get, um... Yeah, this was actually quite a fun mission to do as well. That I did later. Now, was this? Were there, were there extra guys here? Alright, okay. So yeah, here we get to this tower where uh, you'll be able to see the grappling. Which is actually quite a fun little mechanic. But my first encounter with it, I didn't get uh, a tutorial on the left there, I don't know why. So, I had no idea how to descend or ascend, so I fell to the ground fairly often <laughs> and had nobody to resurrect me. Which is also a cool thing about having these guns for all these guys for hire. If you do happen to lose all your health, you'll just fall to the ground and they can come back to resurrect you. Help you up. Hope you don't get vertigo. <coughs> Which is something that uh, everybody will get to see just now. I've, I've left one of those scenes in. Ah, great. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit confused. I think it was probably here. That'll do it. Nah, I didn't leave this one. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's on a cliff overlooking the hotel. If you got a wingsuit, now's the time to use it. Just so there she's talking about a wingsuit, Mikey. Tell people uh, about the wingsuit. There we go. There she talks about the wingsuit. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no weird. Yeah, so... <laughs> well, that's actually quite a fun thing to play around with later on. You can jump off the side of a cliff and then get the up inside the parachute. Or open your wingsuit. And that helps you to get down to the bottom. In, uh, well, instead of going straight down, you're able to glide for a while. But then obviously... I still don't know how you saw that guy. <laughs> but also look, 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 look here how, uh, how you use your guns for hire. Mikey did this really, really well. I was he has signs. That one, and then he takes out the guy on the right. I mean, they're two for one. That is, that is brilliant. That's the way you, you need to use these guys. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, there's no one going to be able to take out both at the same time. So I needed Jess, who also had both to stealth take down that guy for me. That's also why I like keeping Jace in the team. Not only is she really awesome in the comments she makes, is hilarious, but she is very useful for these kind of stealth takedowns. Okay, so now previously you disabled the alarm, um, and this time you got the alarm go wing off. Yeah. And everybody's saying that, um, what is it, reinforcements on the way? Yeah, reinforcements, and you actually do see them come in. I was quite annoyed with myself that I couldn't get to the alarm. I was just like, what the hell is this guy doing? He doesn't know where I think the out. weight of that rocket was guiding him, so <laughs> he, he was falling over and all that kind of shit, so he was just running with it. I love it, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, I love the comments Jess makes at the end uh, during combat. It's it's quite entertaining. I think I got a different gun for high end. <coughs> yeah, I didn't know where the stairs were, and eventually I was like, "There's no." I thought I'd see guys up here, but Jess took this gun down for me. Quite nice, bro. Uh, there we go. <laughs> And this is when the, this is what happens. Yeah, it's just a guy. There's a flash wound, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, I need to use med kit. <laughs> there is the alarm, sorry for you. <laughs> but this is the problem with having a bow in close combat. Is it, it's impossible. So yeah. bows are really specifically for, for, um, for ranged. They're powerful. Well, obviously that that guy. This left me. This, I was so confused here. <laughs> like, what the hell? like you died and then <laughs> completed the mission because one of your guns for high took out the baddie. Like yeah. at that section, <laughs> which is absolutely brilliant. It is actually. It is ironic as all kinds of AF. <laughs> So now you've just gotten this outpost, <clears throat> which was optional. You really didn't have to go here, but you decided to do that, which is great because now you've unlocked the helicopter shops. Hey, you got a sec? You dig 
good taking over the radar station, but it's not over. Looks like they're still broadcasting data from here. Best way to take it down is to destroy their satellite dishes. Pretty sure I saw three of them on the rooftops around here. Take some explosives and blow them to hell. Better hurry up. I'm pretty sure they already know we're here. Now, the minute that that quest begins, you guys yeah. will see there's just like it anarchy. Is. Mad. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. It's crazy to say. I was so confused because it was like, so, so peaceful for a while. Like, okay, I'll do this quest. I'll, uh, I'll manage and then. I think you already. Yeah, there you go. You already hear them coming in. Look, I just have to point out to everybody. She said blow <laughs> up. Take explosives and blow up. What part of blow up didn't you understand? <laughs> I wanted to see if the... No, actually, I, I completely forgot about that. So when I realized, wait, I'm supposed to blow this up. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> I managed to see, test that you don't, you're not able to destroy this with melee weapons. Which is cool. Yeah. So that stuff is pretty heavy duty. But shame, I feel so very so, so <laughs> bad for all of your guns fire because you just <laughs> they run into flames, you blow them up with freaking C4. Yeah. It's like you're a you're a bad master. Uh true enough. Jess just went and died on her own once. But she doesn't die permanently, which I was so thankful for. <clears throat> just take note, number one. Carry on talking. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After a while the the VIP type uh um, just fall higher. If they do go down on okay. Uh, I think about 10 to 15 minutes, they get back up and you're able to uh, Yeah, they've got, a, they've got a reset counter. Or a cooldown, I think. Yeah. yeah. Go down, go down. Oh, shit, this is close. <laughs> and then blow up. Thankfully, it didn't blow up. You're lucky. <laughs> <coughs> okay, number two. <laughs> and I was like... I just love the explosion. Beautiful. <laughs> like really, chick? <laughs> Don't you know what to do? Like, either she's, get under the table. She's just standing there. <laughs> so like third time lucky. Uh, cool. So now there it shows you how you switch to your trackable missions. Um, and then and the missions that are currently available in Mikey's list there. Just something I need to mention, at the bottom right you see Jacob's region and how far Mikey is there. He's nearly halfway through. So pretty much what that entails is once he's reached a certain um, reputation level in Jacob's region, uh, Jacob's going to more than likely come for him. Now, none of us were able to at the press event yesterday fill our bars. The only person that got really, really close was Marco Cocomelo from uh, Mweb Gaming. And... Um, we, we weren't able to actually get to that point and, and engage the boss. So there's there's three regions, which is Jacob's region up at the at the top, John's region's down at the bottom, and then we've got Faith's region on the bottom right hand side. Did I just say yeah. right or left? Yeah, Who's right. John? John's left. John's left. Bottom. She's right, yeah. yeah. So these three main regions are where you need to focus on during the game, obviously, and then take them out. Um Oh. oh wow! Hi there, Siri. <laughs> Apparently, Siri just heard me saying something, and she she answered. I don't know who the vocalist is on the song doing the game. That is brilliant. Wow, Siri, I'm impressed. But go go to sleep. You're drunk. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and then we can just assume that uh, once you've done that, uh, it opens up Jacob's region. So now you've taken out your second tower, um, radio jammer, and grappled like a boss. Okay, come on, come on, and ah, there we go. Because there is a little bit of a limit to these ropes, which I learned the hard way. <laughs> So it doesn't seem like, um, oh, there was another helicopter there. So I was first scoping out the area, and I'd seen the helicopter, and I decided, ah, oh, let's go in the right of the helicopter. But it didn't seem like I was able to get in to drive it myself. 
Which I suppose in one way I wasn't too sad about, but in another way I would have liked to have seen what kind of what kind of driving mechanics we would have had to place if we had the opportunity to drive it. Hmm. I was a little upset with this dude because every now and then he just hung around in the middle of nowhere. Was like, come on, hey, really? It, it, it would make sense to me that we'd be able to pilot these. Because um, remember, what we were playing was code. Uh, it's not the final, final, final edition. True enough. Um, so maybe that changes in the final version. I'm hoping it does. But if not, I suppose it's always lacquer just to sit and go for the ride and, and, and shoot people. Definitely. We've got a rocket launcher. Oh, nice! You got a arrow kills challenge um, trophy there, and yeah. unlocked some more perk points. Oh yeah, the completing challenges also uh, unlocks the Just perk points. Just say the word. I'm obviously you found the rocket launcher here, yeah, and, and that's the <laughs> <laughs> Premature <laughs> detonation. Uh, darn it. Like, well, there goes the truck, y'all. I uh, tried to go after it, but uh, I think as as I started driving, so I wasn't fast enough to get onto the quad bike. Yeah, so there's that's just a just a good example of obviously what happens should you not complete your missions, because um, obviously there wasn't flawless gaming. And Whee! No, I'm not being suicidal. This is the parachute. <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed. And there, you see the option to go into the wingsuit. So I just waited for a little bit before I actually chose the option. I think before this, I actually tried it out and I actually failed miserably. So here I was. No, you actually didn't. This was the first time you ever used it, oh, and, was it? and 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 you 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 landed it like a box. Oh, sweet. Okay. No, you never entered oh, yeah, wingsuit yeah. mode ever. Yeah. <laughs> I think. So obviously, time. this time you just decided to go for a more direct approach as to. Yeah. As to you know, taking the long way around. Because I can see your playstyle here was very aggressive. You're like, I am getting this done. Yeah. <laughs> it progresses as far as I can go. I to get to the story. It was quite an intriguing road. <laughs> when I got here, I was like, wait. It doesn't look the same, but then I realized I was on the other side of the, <laughs> of the gate. I wondered what was going on with your orientation. I was like, wait, where am I? <laughs> and this is very interesting because now you see there you've unlocked your challenge again. Yeah. So it's not as if everything stacks. So you can't like kill a hundred people, die, um, and then it'll still have that hundred people. Yeah. It'll take it back to what it was at that specific checkpoint, which is a flaw some other games do have. Which is yeah. something I'm very pleased to see that they've ironed out on this on, on this one. So I wouldn't say Ubisoft titles, but other gaming titles do kind of allow you to um, encrypt the system. Yeah. All the explosions, beautiful. <laughs> it was. And I eventually got it, I was like, man, it makes up for the, <laughs> the previous one. Enjoy the rocket. Did <laughs> you see the blast batters? <laughs> I actually missed it. <laughs> it's like poof, non-existent, just gone. <laughs> He's like, have another rocket. Here you go. Oh wait, this was a civilian, so I was like, okay, wait. No, oh, I'll shoot him. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, that's close. I nearly did though. <laughs> All right, so there you guys see at the top there, Mikey completes that section, and it's pushed him to halfway to um, having enough reputation in uh, in Jacob's region for. Uh, what we're assuming. Uh, did you not just kill the innocent civilian there with that rocket? I think I did. <laughs> I was trying to destroy the track. <laughs> uh, guys, look, uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this gameplay. This yeah. is where we're going to cut it off. Um, we were really only allowed to, due to non disclosure and very iron clad um, paperwork, show you hours worth of our selected gameplay and then give you some commentary which we've decided to do here. Yeah. Um, what we did not include was the first hour of the game, which is uh, pretty much sets the tone and everything for, 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 for the regions and all that kind of stuff. And let me tell you, just after that first hour of playing, 
the, um, the, the intro section without getting to the open world section which allows you to go into your multiplayer and your co-op etc. I, um, I already uh, went and put in my pre-order for the collector's edition. That's how impactful the first hour was guys. I found it really really great. So if you haven't put in your, your pre-orders for the game yet, it doesn't necessarily have to be the collector's edition because they are very, very limited. I uh, would strongly recommend you get yourself the digital deluxe as well as saving up for the season's pass because the season's pass, as you guys have seen, comes loaded with so much good stuff. Yeah, well, we hope you enjoyed the, the gameplay, and yeah. Uh, yeah, Mikey did a good job of showing us a lot of stuff there. Um, and his aim was pretty, pretty uh, <laughs> on point, <laughs> except for when it was close combat with the yeah, arrow thing. I actually noticed that you can't, so you don't have to aim Ah, nice. So that's probably why I enjoyed it more. Yeah. Just, it, it's really as dependent on your, your holding your breath like with a sniper rifle. Okay guys, well, um, Far Cry 5 drops in a week's time, the 27th of March. Go out and get those orders in, because you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers, cheers. Cheers guys. Game over. Riding love, put a gun in my hand. For the players.